to each their own, right? But like my friends are playing in a pool that's two hundred dollar entry. Like I'm not I'm not getting out of bed for two hundred to, to win two thousand dollars at the end of the I year. Bob's not waking up in the morning for two thousand bucks or plus one forty <laughs> teasers. Those are the only two things he doesn't want. Did I say that out you loud? Did. I said that out loud. Experience. Welcome to the Pat Mayo Experience presented by Underdog. Code Mayo and Underdog right now. Get you a deposit bonus of up to a thousand bucks. And if you're watching before Thursday Night Football, a free square for Aaron Rodgers as well to go with the CD Lamb free square this weekend. You're losing money by not playing on Underdog. If that's the case, Code Mayo, sign up right now. All right? Week three, best bets, and a teaser towards the end. Plus, we'll talk about Survivor. Although, Rob Pizzola, Survivor is not going well for anyone. Uh, it's going well for me. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I, I, okay. You're out. We I, know you're out. What? Well, no, I, I have so Who many. we entries. have last week? Did, we said Houston. Lo- said don't take yeah. Baltimore. Yeah, I, I've, I've avoided Cincinnati and Baltimore. I lost some entries this past week on Detroit. I'm not going to lie about that, but it's going pretty well for me. I got a bunch of my Circa survivors still left. I, I'm alive in both. I have, I'm doing really good with Survivor. We've avoided the chalk, and they both lost back-to-back weeks. Mm-hmm. You're correct. I, I ended up taking Baltimore in mind, and I was done for. I should have listened to mm. you. That team reeks. Uh, Pizzola, by the way, um, <laughs> uh, you tell your intern, put this in your little fucking spy book. Yeah. Uh, Willis, 1-0 ATS, 1-0 outright. Yeah. Uh, backup quarterback. So you, let's, just so start, do you, do let's, start, th- let's start recording. Do you, do you think he's a good quarterback? Yeah, do you think he's good? No, I don't. I don't think he's good. I don't think he's good at all. Like, this is the whole thing. I'm just talking about numbers and things. No, and no, 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 no. Hold, hold on. You have now changed yeah. the entire argument. No, it's not. Ne- it's I never. Didn't say a, anybody it's, was good. Yeah, but that was yeah, the whole. No, 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 ca- no, That was the whole case last case. year. You kept saying everyone was good. Okay, I'll say this then. Skylar Thompson's not bad. Okay. Okay. Can I say that. Yeah. Here's okay. what I want you to say. I want you to say, maybe not with Skylar Thompson, but Malik, Malik Willis is shit. But I like him to cover the spread this week. I, I don't. I no, don't no, like I, him to cover the spread what, this in, week. In the first game last week. Okay. Like, I, I, I just you. don't want you to cut. Where I have a problem, a fundamental okay. issue is when you come out and you say like these guys are not a downgrade from the quarter, like, oh, like, you know, he's not that much of a downgrade or, or this guy's actually good. And people don't. Who's Will Levis's fucking backup. I guarantee he's better. Mason okay? Rudolph. Mason Rudolph. Yeah, I'd rather, no, you can't tell me you'd not rather have Mason Rudolph than this fucking idiot that they should be a two and O team and they're and two because of their quarterback. That's all I'm saying. This guy reeks. He I, reeks. I, and I'm taking them this week. Okay. Okay. And and one more thing, Pizzola, for yeah. your little book. Another dangerous food, Weetabix, threaded wheat, and or mini wheats. But not the, the big ones, not the mini-sized ones, okay? Anything with shredded wheat, very dangerous. I went to I bed did. after a bowl of cereal, almost fucking died. Who, like, you it was cussed? Like, you you know, cussed no, no, cuss is, cuss is so right. No, I know, Pat. I, 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 it's no sugar cereals. but I That stuff like, will just melt in your in your mouth, though. Like, no, it, no, no. You don't understand. The fucking the wheat sticks to the top. It's like popcorn kernels, buddy. They stick to the top. Anyway, we'll talk about, we'll do a whole dangerous food show. There's a one there's dangerous food. Wheats there. I did, I did some research on this. There's one. You, the most dangerous food is steak. Steak's dangerous with the fat. Grilled cheese can stick to the top, popcorn with kernels, and shredded wheat because of uh, strands, too, that stick to the, your mouth. But you're right, Pizzola. Steak is a very dangerous food. I people don't, it people don't chew the steak yes, enough, and, yes. and it goes down and it lodges. That's, there's call. a lot of, lot of steak deaths every year. You'd be very surprised. Oh, like when you say be. there's a lot of popcorn deaths, there's like four in the last decade or something oh, like okay, that. But, okay. but well, ste- steak, especially fatty steak, too, when you don't see mm, that fat, it's kind of... Mm. Just very, get lodged there. You got to chew. Chew your yep. steak or cut it into smaller pieces. Don't get, you know, don't get crazy with it. More, don't need to put it. More right. egregious than how people choke on steak, apparently, is how people cut steak. You know, they don't use the back end of their fork when they cut. Some people don't do that. They're like Hill Williams. What, what are you talking about? Ooh. What do you mean? Like, like when you, you, have, cu- you put the like, fork in it and you saw it. Like, what? what yeah. Is there any other way? Yeah, or? but you, you put it on the back end of the fork in order to cut it. You know, like a civilized Correct. person. Some people don't. Do Somebody that. does and the, the back, other way put, around. I just put the I just put the fork in it and cut it. Like I yeah, but but, I the, should... but but the back end of the fork is is the side that the knife cuts cuts on. on. You don't do the yeah. front end of the fork. Oh, I do, but oh I'm God. an idiot. Anyway, we'll talk about this later. We need a demonstration <laughs> if we all go into a steakhouse. Let's just move on. I, I, I don't have time. Real. For this. No, I, honestly, I, I don't have time be... for this shit today. I put I put the fork in the steak and I cut it. Like 
There's no method to it, whatever. It's fork in, cut. Like, but look, I'm, I'm watching the way you're doing that now, and it seems like you do it. The only way the front of the steak could be is if you hold the fork like a so You're telling me somebody like uses, like, without putting the prongs in? Is this what we're fucking talking about? No. Like, we, we, we back it? No, like, you, you it's, just... It's, you're probably doing it right, Cam. I've seen people do it the other way, where they hold the fork you. like this. Pat, you got to show or, me or, the or, wrong way, because... Well, some, some people cut in between about. the prongs. Oh, that is that. Are you fucking psychopath? I've no, seen it. The fork it's, it's as a in, guy. I agree. It's insane. <laughs> That's insane. insane you're, so you're behavior. telling me you're using the fork as a tunnel and you're cutting in between the prongs of a fork. You're a fucking idiot. If you didn't do that, you deserve to choke on your steak, you <laughs> fucking tool. What a loser. Like what? Honest to God. Like literally, you're going inside the prong? What a moron does that? I'm stupid and I don't even do that. That's an it. Pozzola, that is the worst of the worst. That's worse than my backup quarterback statements. That's just ridiculous. I would actually agree with that. I would Thank actually you. agree with that. If Thank you me. gave a thousand children a fork and had they had to just learn on their own how to Everyone cut using be, it, yeah. no one would cut through the gap. It's I, I don't I've even know how you heard of that. that. And if you do that, like you're just you're 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 missing chromosomes, man. You're pretty stupid. Let me drop you. Well, we're we're hiding the fact that we're off to a terrible start to this NFL season. Uh, that's so. why. That's why this why the foreplay i wanted to just get everybody's mind off the picks because i should just stick a great pick by pozzola on uh, the raiders last week thanks rob i actually i switched off it and uh, it was a big win for me so thank you so you and i did hit our gold picks cam we had the same gold pick with the browns and the points although they won outright the giants just couldn't get it done for rob at all i pushed with my bronze in houston because it was only minus six and you guys both lost by the hook with seattle in overtime anyway let's i'm not gonna it, 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 we got I three. I got three, but the, for the show's purposes, we lost. Yep. That's correct. Also, you know, if you're going to add a kicker to the injury report on Saturday, Brian Dable, maybe you, you sign another kicker just in case on Sunday oh, your kicker hurts himself in warm-ups. Like, these guys couldn't kick extra. Oh, my God. I don't even want That's to the thing, that. Bazola. I was a kicker in high school. Like, when I say, oh, the, the people are like, the kicker's hurt. Anybody can kick an extra point, buddy. Like, like well, we had, they, they we had, sent like, out the Scottish hammer. Cool team. Like, they sent out on. the Scottish hammer for the first one, and he missed it by about thirty yards. And that's <laughs> Scottish hammer. You know who I'm talking about? The punter guy. Yeah, Gilliam. Yeah, that yeah. fucking guy. He's in, like, Scottish, a Scottish death metal band. Yeah, with yeah. The they sent yeah. him out for the first one, yeah. and he missed it by you know a nautical mile. And they said, no, 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 we're not trying this again. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, they, hammer. they just kept going for two. They couldn't kick field goals for the that's whole game. Just... Kept going for two and not converting them. What are you going to do? Such is life. Such we had the Giants life. in the contest again, Pizzola. Another four and one down the twos with a three and two with that game. Mm-hmm. Like, honest to God. I don't, the Lions, we deserve to lose. Look, I, I don't even know if the Giants were actually the right side of that game. Because all Washington did was march the ball down the field, just couldn't yeah. find the end zone. Yeah, they couldn't. They, 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 Washington got 47 yards on every single drive. And they just kicked seven field goals instead of ever being able to score a touchdown. Um, so it, I, I'm not saying the Giants were the right side. It was just incredibly frustrating watching the game because they had many chances to to get points and they ended up getting nothing out of those drives. So, um, but whatever, you know, it okay, happens. Yeah, you win some, like, you lose some, right? Yeah. It's, you, you know, if, if Nick Sirianni, if Nick Dude, Sirianni just runs the ball, a bunch of people don't lose their survivor the picks, yeah. Yeah, they, but they're alive. But Hi, we're Nick the Sir- Eagles. Let's play a soft zone when Kirk Cousins can't move. Like these guys <laughs> do it all the time. Are, are you that stupid? If everybody else could figure it out, like they, they, that was a joke. Like they did the opposite of what you're supposed to do in that situation. All yeah. you, you have a front four of killers and you're letting this guy sit up and make a martini and carve you up with time left too. And, and I don't care if that was going to be a touchdown to Barkley. You don't throw in that down. You fucking run oh, the ball and you, oh. and you so, so you're, you're on team cuss. Everyone's against me on this. I, he catches the ball. The game is over. I, yes. I, okay. I get that. Just, but just don't kick the field goal on fourth down. Go for it again. Win the but, game. But when you, you have a chance to you, win, no one can stop you win the game. And so if, if they, I, if they run the ball, on that down, and they milk the time off, and they kick the field goal. There's still a minute left in the game. That wouldn't have done them any good. Well, th- here's the thing. There's t- there's there's many things. I agree with you on a lot of things there. Barkley catches it. It's over. But you risk, when you put the ball in the air, you risk that stuff happening, period. Yes. Like, if the, the Eagles should have ran two tush pushes. I, that, that, that I'm, I, I'm on board with you on that. Just... Two, yeah. tush, two tush pushes, it's the best of all worlds. But you don't sign a guy to this many million dollars and figure, oh, yeah, the guy's wide open. He can't catch a two-yard pass. I, I hear you. I, and at some point, you have to put the onus on the players as well. It happened in the uh, Colts-Texans game in Week 17 last year as well, right, where they threw the ball on that fourth down and the running back just dropped it. 
um, and they end up losing because of that. It happens. Shit happens. But, like, it's dumb. You got to run 40 seconds off the clock. And if you – the problem with going up six, when you go up six in the NFL, now the other team knows they need to go and score a touchdown. If you go – if you're up three and you go for it on fourth down and you don't get it, I'll tell you what the Falcons are doing. They're not playing for a touchdown. They're playing for a field goal because all these teams get super soft. So just a comedy of errors, honestly, by the Eagles. And uh, what are you going to do? Such I was on Frank Falcons. Fine with me, yeah. but I just say it was stupid. Like, no, I agree. Just, uh, honest to God, the Eagles, and take a look at the statistics, Rob. I don't need it. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. These guys have given up more leads at the end of games with this with these soft defenses, and you have a – like, do what you did the whole game. Attack. Especially Cousins. Like, I can't move. Like, yeah. I just don't understand all these guys. Like, your one job is a football coach. Like, you should be – like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what he can and can't do. They're playing mm-hmm. soft. Like, Rob, they're 20-yard chunks, 30. Like, it was a joke. They moved down the field in, like, 15 seconds on two plays. Right. It's like, what? Yep. Anyway, I know. It's not cash do? me a huge parlay, though. Those Darnell yeah, Mooney yeah, catches. What you. are you going to do? Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you had the the old Pat Mayo, the over-under with the same guy, didn't you? I had over-under touchdown with the same guy. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and, the, the, and they cashed quite I, I saw, a bit. Yeah. I saw okay. someone throw it out for Thursday Night Football with Jalen Polk. Under yeah. one and a half catches, over 25 yards, and a touchdown is like 190 to one. Oh, yeah. wicked. It, it wasn't that high for us, but it was... Uh, Mooney under three and a half receptions. Mooney anytime touchdown. And then uh, you play him on like you ladder, as John Legaza used to say, you ladder the alts. Uh, so 50 yeah. plus receiving yards, 60 plus receiving yards, 70 plus. If he had got to 100, you know, I, I'm, I'm retired. I'm on another. I'm not even exaggerating. It would have been an absurd amount of money. Uh, but this one was very good as well. So I can't complain. Mm. Cannot complain. Gold picks for the week. Again, we were two and one last week on the gold picks. At least that's in the positive. The the yep. number one picks of the week. That's always what you want to be on. Rob and I cannot have any of the same picks. Cam is eligible to pick whoever he likes as a part of the Best Bet Show, and you can always find the cheat sheet in the weekend newsletter on Mayo Media Network. So right now in the newsletter, the rankings are up there. Uh, the Spread picks are up there, but I'll have a re-up on Saturday evening with all the updated injuries, the rankings, the picks from this show, any new news that may come out. Cam, before we start this, is there mm-hmm. any way you're not taking Carolina this week? Because they have hurt you very badly through two weeks. Got to be honest with you, I'm in a lot of fucking trouble. <laughs> I got the Saints under seven and a half is a huge play. They're the best team in the NFL right now. I got Carolina <laughs> over five and a half. I'm dead. I got an alt bet with you plus one and a half. Uh, I got that Asian line that I would have paid you on too. Remember Pozzola? I almost did the old Asian line too, but uh, you nixed that one or Pat nixed that one too. Like I'm fucked. Other than Baltimore under 11 and a half and 10 and a half and Seattle off to a good side. Like I'm looking at those two futures with New Orleans and Carolina and I'm like sweating bullets. Like I'm going to mm-hmm. be in a guy's basement tied up. Like I, I'm going to owe a lot of money. This is not going to be good. And uh, I need a fucking miracle. I need like, I need New Orleans like, I don't wish bad things upon Carr. I'm really happy for him. He, I think he's a better quarterback than people think, but I just need this to go away. Like I need the Saints to lose like 10 games in a row or something. Like, I'll tell you, I'll happen. tell you what you really need. I needed for, Eddie Dalton to start the fucking season. That's what nope. I needed. For these games, for these bets to be actioned, all 17 games have to be played. <laughs> you need one the week 17 game that the Saints play or the Panthers game to be yeah. canceled. Because it's irrelevant at I, some I, point. That that's not going to happen. And uh, uh, Pizzola, it's the book with the you know the the fake Georgia flag and the, and yep. the Saint killed the Saints instead yeah, of yeah, the yeah, Saints. Yeah, so these metallic, guys got their yeah. own rules. So I'm I'm a dead man. So anyway, well, let's just let's just get to the picks. I'm, no, but I'm, it, I'm, I'm it, it's the the rules are the rules. It happened when Demar Hamlin had the. You know, I'm not saying you've got to root for someone to die on the field. That's not what I'm suggesting. Uh, but that year where it happened, that yes. a lot of those got those Bills and Bengals bets got canceled. Because they never remade that, made up that game. They never played it. I had a problem though, Pizzola. I bet a college game. I had Kentucky against Southern Miss. They're winning by like thirty, whatever, and they oh. called it a void bet. Like that, yeah. there's no way I'll, that bet could have lost. But they called I'll tell it you void. what happened. It cost me a lot of money because this has happened to me twice this year in college football. One team is killing the other team so bad at the half that they don't play fifteen yeah. minute quarters in the second half. They play yeah. ten minute quarters, and the game doesn't reach fifty five minutes. That's bullshit. They got to make a stipulation for this now. It's getting they, the teams just agreed. Like, uh, you yeah. know, let's get out of here. Let's have a, we're going to play ten minutes. What though. the hell is that? That's what is right. that? 
That's like an it's happened twice this year. That's like an old bullshit. school hockey tournaments when you're in like Bantam or Pee Wee, and yeah, one yeah, team is yeah, absolutely yeah. crushing the other one. They're like, yeah. "Why don't we but just we, run? We, we we'll, 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 we'll just run the, the we'll just run the <laughs> clock on this one." <laughs> no stop. Yeah, it's like the mercy rule. It's like that's not in the betting stipulation, though. Pat. That's the whole problem. Like we got fucked on the yeah, right, Pizzle. It's happened like in a few games this year. It's pure bullshit. Like Jesus, uh, like, it's ridiculous. It's funny how it works against us every time, too. Yeah, you're the, you, you got the forest. team that's covered already. Yeah. It spreads Both like times. minus forty, and they're winning yeah. by like sixty-eight. Yeah, and they just yeah. like yeah, we're, we're not playing the other team. It's going to be impossible for them to score. They have no offense. Anyways, yeah. it can work in your favor. It can work against you. It's funny how they always seem to work against us, though. It's true. Gold pick from me to kick this off. I thought this line was too low for a team that apparently has the number one or number two defense in the league, depending on where you look. People are just buying into Sammy Scrambles and the Minnesota Vikings. I think that Houston minus one and a half in Minnesota is just a Love clear it. discrepancy between quarterbacks and just quality of team overall. Maybe Minnesota, I think Minnesota's all right. I don't think that they're excellent. I think that the Titans are closer to excellent than pretty all right. So one and a half just doesn't seem like a lot. So minus one and a half for me on the road with the Houston Texans. One of my like, favorite picks this week. I It'll like definitely it. make our top six and uh, not sure if it's going to make the contest with five, but I do a six pack too, guys. And uh, I think Houston's going to be on the tail end of it for sure. I love it. I'm with you. Like the one thing I don't like about Houston is laying big number. Like look at the Chicago game on Sunday night. They killed Chicago. I don't know. Mm -hmm. how, how does Chicago even cover the spread in that game? I couldn't tell you, but Houston with that coaching staff, with D'Amico Ryans, they get a little bit too soft. But when mm -hmm. they just have to win a game, I'm, I, I, I'll I trust C.J. Stroud to win me a game. One and a half point spread. I like what the Vikings are doing. They're a good team, but I'm with you. I think this one's short. I think the market's upgraded the Vikings a little too much here. And it's really strange, too, because the Texans were bigger favorites like two days ago. And I get that Jefferson is playing, but it was always known that he was going to play. But I doubt that there's any chance he's 100% here. It's a thigh contusion. I'm not a doctor. I don't know how that's going to impact him running, but I, I I don't really know, you know how to factor in the injury for him. But I, at some point, these teams are in different leagues. Like Houston, Houston has the best roster in the NFL. Like just positional groups, they have oh. the best roster. So you said it, and that's where Jeff heard it because he kept saying that yesterday. So he heard that from you. He's right. I may have mentioned it to Jeff. <laughs> I don't know if I, if I, I, you know what? I'm trying to think of where he might have got that from me. We do share a group chat together. I probably said it, but it, it's not wrong. You're they have a great he's team. Stealing your material. I, I think uh, Jeff you know might have really thought that. Jeff's a good own? guy. Jeff's yeah. a good guy. He can. He can yeah. do that. He I should give. He should give attribution, though. In my opinion, <laughs> he he did tell. He did say that he's not a trends guy this week on the show either. Yeah, after immediately bringing up a trend, <laughs> trends trends suck. I, I, only when they work for me. Uh, he, I, I hate them. He, he he had a twenty five game sample that dated back to two thousand four or something like yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. Was it, a, was it for <laughs> Thursday night football? It was. Yeah, I know that one. It's the uh, the uh, overtime. The over teams coming off of overtime going and playing a Thursday night football game. By the way, just for that trend, just so everyone, in case anyone's curious, the Patriots defense, even though they went to overtime, had less time on the field than the Jets defense did last week. Mm. I don't know why people are like, put. just look at the data. It's one thing if a team plays 40 minutes on defense like the Colts did. It's another if, if it's like 29 minutes, even though it was overtime. Anyways, I digress. So Houston for me, Rob, where are you going with your gold pick? Just because Cam is going to steal it, and if he does, I can no longer use it, and it 100% has to be a mineral for me this week. I'm going back to Mayo loving Will Levis. I, I know that Jordan Love has a chance to play in this game. He's not playing. I know he, he's not going to He ain't play. playing. I he's love Tennessee, playing. too. How'd you know I like Tennessee, Pizzola? Do well, you, you read said my it mail? approximately seven minutes ago, roughly. Oh, yeah, you, stated the start of the you, you stated it. <laughs> Sorry. See, what a bad criminal I'd be. I already told you like what I did. Yes, I did rob the bank, sir. There you go. Put me out. I'm done. Yeah, you're right, Rob. I'm an idiot. I, 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 I think this Titans are still underrated. Like, I agree. They, they've had a punt blocked in both games so far. <laughs> they should be two and all if not for Will Levis. <laughs> right. And, and listen. He's going to be prone. He's mistake prone. Don't get me wrong. He can also make some good throws and big plays as well. So I know what Cam was saying with Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph has like a, you know what you're getting with Rudolph. Levis is more of one extreme or another a lot of times, but I think the Titans are just undervalued. Green Bay cannot come into this game 
with that game plan from last week and beat the Titans, in my opinion. You cannot run 51 times on the Titans' defensive front, ask Malik Willis to convert a third down here or there where there's much better corners on the other side. Like the Colts, Gus Bradley got to be one of the worst DCs in the league at this he point. Is. It's he completely the passed him by. horrible. Com- like, did not make any adjustments till the half. When they finally did make an adjustment, Green Bay couldn't move the ball anymore. But I... I'm gonna. I'm buying into the Titans. I think this is a short price. If by some miracle, by the way, Jordan Love does play, the number will move. I'm and I would still bet the Titans at the later number because we have a long history now of quarterbacks who come back early from injuries that suck whenever they try to come back early. So, give me Tennessee uh, and like, please, you know. I love the pick. I am yeah, so glad it. that you used up Tennessee because I was going to use them with one of these picks and I really didn't want to because I know they're going to find a way to not cover this number after betting them yeah. in week one and week two and just watching like, oh, here's an easy win. No, not even close. It's only two now, two, Pozzola. You don't even have to lay two and a half. It's two. In fact, uh, a few one sports and a half. books out there have one and a half right yeah, now. I'll yeah, I'll take one at? and a half. Uh, uh, a few of them. Bet, bet MGM, Bet yep. Rivers, Caesars. Yep. Um, minus one and a half it is then real sites not cam's buddy yeah not not yeah, the, not, not, not the fake, one that has the georgia facts. symbol yeah yeah, you yeah know, exactly, not the georgia yeah. symbol. not georgia bulldogs the country Buc- of georgia. not buckeye and metallic uh <laughs> back ends yes the best is too how they do ohio bobcats and they put an ohio state logo there <laughs> you guys are fucking idiots like it's always random weird shit with these guys like when they never clean it up but anyway because it doesn't matter it yeah, doesn't, I know, but why but why like why it, is it, it that way it's like, mapped like, wrong somewhere on the okay. back end but no one's ever gonna fix it because guess what cam are you going to not bet at that book because they have the incorrect logo? I bet no one because gives a shit. I need to have all the books when I need money quickly. You need to bet on credit. Yes. 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 Got it. Anyway, let's not talk about it. Let's just zip. <laughs> How about a gold pick from you, Cam? Uh, a lot of different options. Tennessee was going to be my gold, but uh, I think we'll stay. How do you feel about the Giants this week? Uh, I don't want to reveal some of my other minerals, but okay. How do you feel about the dolphins? I don't like the lines. How, how, how about this? How do you feel about the dolphins? I liked it at six, a hell of a lot better than four and a half. That's fair. It's a great point. I would <laughs> too. You. Yeah. With uh, I, we're, we're all on board with that. We would we're like it better with at six that. than four and a half. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm not freaking any, anything fucking new here, but, uh, God, I like that, uh, I love your Houston pick. I love your Tennessee. Those were both like circled by me. So I got to figure something out here. You can use um, them. You're allowed to use yeah, whatever picks you want. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just switch the minerals up. Uh, what do you guys think of the Lions? You like what, them? What do you think of the Lions? I like them. Then I the love Lions the Lions. I like the I'll make the Lions my gold pick at minus three. Rawr. I think they're going to fucking kill Arizona this week. I think Dan Campbell's an absolute stooge what he did with the clock. But this team has been underachieving the first two games. Everybody's feeling great about Arizona. Party's over. Detroit goes on the road, wins this game by 13. Give me Detroit as my gold pick. Yep. Seven red zone trips for the Lions last week. They scored one touchdown. I, I, if they don't cover this number, we got Jared, a real big problem let, with Cam. You know what, Cam? Staff. I'm. This is where I want to step in here and say Jared Goff sucks and you know has what? sucked for a long time. But this O line is so good, and this Detroit, uh, this Arizona D line is so bad. He's gonna have so much time. They're gonna be able to run the I'm, ball. I'm not going to fight with you, and I'm actually going to agree. He looks like he's regressing. Like, before yeah. he was, like, confident in his throws. He looks like he's skipping balls in. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? Like, I actually like Goff. Now I'm kind of looking at him going, what, what's happening here? i very disappointed the first couple of weeks with Goff. I'll give mm. you that. Product of the uh, Ben Johnson system, I would say. <laughs> Cheat all the time. <laughs> fucking guy. Frank, yeah, you got you taking advantage of a Canadian legend like Ben Johnson, making him do fucking commercials. He, what a fucking guy. Different Ben Johnson I was referring yeah, to. You but know, I get, I, I, but I you it. know what I'm I saying. Got it. I know you exactly what you're saying. You don't kick a guy when he's down. And you know Carl Lewis and everybody else was on They were all on. They, all, they, all no. Those guys. Like Car- 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 listen, Carl we Lewis just needed to have drugs. braces drugs. as a 30-year-old. That, that, that's normal. Look at Matthew Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Ben Johnson's life could have been so much better with one fucking mistake. It's just life's not fair. You, you mean I'll the, mis- the, the mistake end. of taking performance enhancing drugs to win it? Everybody the else was doing it. Well, well you know what? When you're the one, when you're the one who breaks the world right record now, and you're the one who gets caught, that's going to be a yeah, problem. Deal, Pat. Chinese Taipei's got a new bomb coming out that's like so fucking like futuristic. We don't even know what's there yet. Like the, we got to do better. That's the problem with Canadians. When we cheat, we fucking get caught. Our so- women's soccer team, Ben Johnson, better at cheating. If, it sounds, if Ben it's, Johnson finished second in that race, his entire life, he would have been held up high. Because yep. whoever finished first would have been drug tested, 
and yep. they would have got they would have got the the horns. It sounds ben like Johnson. Cam is saying that the future is potentially going to be more futuristic than we even imagined, according to Chinese Taipei. Dude, they're working on Cam. things in the lab that we don't even fucking like. They, 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 why do you think these guys never get caught? I'm looking at these freaks at the Olympics going like, there's no like, this guy's got like a third arm, like three dicks. Like I think, what the fuck are you doing? They're not even regular looking people. Like they're hybrids of. Anyway, hey, the old triple deck. Have, have you seen those mystery pieces of chicken at the Colonel? Yeah, hey, that's humans, buddy. Different stuff. You got fucking. Uh, you got a head on your shoulder. You had three asses. Things are happening, man. Like, let's clue in people. Like, people are eating honestly. their cats. They're eating their yeah. dogs. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, but by the way, cats zero and four straight up and one and three ATS. Too oh. bad, Tr Trump. Bad, bad weekend for the cats and the pooches. Yep. Big, big. Uh, well, the. I guess if you bet the dogs last week, you would have done well. Yeah, dogs yeah. did well over cats dogs. last week. Is it true? Cats, dogs. Yeah, cats, cats were the. Yeah, they got eaten. Yeah, that's true. Mm. So he this might be the time to jump on the cats then, maybe. Silver picks. Actually, you're onto something, Rob. Silver picks. Actually, I Rob... love every cat this week. Hold on, Rob. You're right. Except for Carolina. Can we leave Carolina out? No, Ryan? no, no. Carolina's got to go in. You got to go all in on the theme or you don't do it at all. That's the rules. Okay. Let me think. Just I, might, I, might, I, might, I might actually do this. I got to think about it. Detroit, Jacksonville, and Cincy, all of them are going to cover this week. A few years back, the irons were the best part of my golf game. But after a swing change about two and a half years ago, my driver is an absolute weapon at this point, but all of a sudden I couldn't hit my long irons and even some of my short irons just were not going on the same trajectory that I always wanted them to, or at least that they used to do. So when I heard how the new PXG Black Ops irons can dramatically improve my game, of course I had to give them a try, anything to improve my golf game. So I called up PXG and I got my current irons and I took the PXG irons challenge and it has been amazing. The consistency off the club face is unparalleled to any club that I have ever used. Best thing about these irons is because I feel so comfortable that I'm gonna hit the sweet spot on them, I can control the club face, the high, the low, the cut, the draw, no problem. And the new PXG Black Ops irons are the game improvement missile launchers that are going to give you explosive distance and it's gonna feel softer than a baby bunny. The new Black Ops irons are incredibly easy to hit and maximize performance and fun because getting better is fun. Oh, and they're only $149.99 a stick. That's a great price for a great golf iron. Take the PXG irons challenge. It's a ton of fun and if PXG's new Black Ops irons don't, outperform your current irons by delivering either more distance or tighter dispersion, that means better accuracy, during your fitting, you'll get a $100 MasterCard rewards card. Hurry, this offer ends October 7th. Book your fitting today at pxg.com. That's pxg.com. Passion, drive, patience. The formula for winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. Supercharger, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has you covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want. It's easy to make your car the MVP and bring home huge wins. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Go, Rob. You're up. Silver picks. Rob, did you want to go first? Uh, I'll go first. Because I can steal it from you if you want to. Well, and you I, you start you go go I, ahead I gotta, go ahead. I, steal it. I don't have a lot of guys, conviction. I, I and I know it's better for the show that you have different picks, but we're a team, and I want you guys. If we really like a game together, I think you guys should be able to take. No, the same that, game. Uh, sure. you, don't worry about what we're doing, Cam. You worry about what you're doing, okay? Okay, okay, Coach. Yeah, I, 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 I don't mean to be mean, Pat. You know me. I never come out from a vicious or an antagonizing front. I'm just a team player. That's all I want to be. He's a team Cam, guy. Cam said he liked the Giants. I don't. I like the Browns again at minus six and a half. It may seem like yeah. a lot of points with Deshaun Watson, and you might be true. Mm -hmm. You might be right in saying that. But this Maybe. is the Giants against a real defense, a team that could like kind of get into field goal range against the awful commander's defense last week. The Browns defense is going to annihilate 
Daniel Jones. Maybe neighbors can break a big one and they get to 10 points. It's not going to be good enough. Yeah. And, uh, you know what? You kind of, I, I don't know. And, enjoy and, enjoy or... betting on the Giants and watching them score three points. It won't be a huge play for me. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put it somewhere, but. Uh... If they score three, it'll be a 9-3 final and Cam yeah. will cover. cover. Yeah. That's the Deshaun Watson special. Hey, Deshaun That's Watson true. came through for me as a gold pick last week. Going sure back, did. Going true. back to the well as a silver that was this good. week. Good pick. I, I, it's all right. Hey, listen, you're entitled to. to and the your... Brown is actually a dog with the dog and cats theme, like, because they're just the dog. Yeah, now. but it's the inverse this week. We're doing what? cats are oh, good, yeah. dogs are bad because dogs well, pats did on good. a do- pats on a dog. So we, it's not good then. Yeah, I don't know. I'm anyway, don't make, worry. Browns are also they go. also are key, their 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 logo. Their old logo is a Keebler elf too. So who do, are they? Fucking elves or dogs? Who really cares? They're Browns. You can't just call people Browns, Cam. Jesus. Yeah. You get canceled <laughs> for that stuff, man. No, really? Be very careful. So I'm not. A, I'm not a red We're gonna have- cracker. We'll probably have Shag's probably gonna have to, to edit this out now afterwards. Yeah. There's a get... lot of browns in my in where I live. There's a lot of white uh, not not <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, it's just, they're different colors. Like it's a kaleidoscope. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying anything. It's just they're the browns. Cleveland <laughs> Browns. Anyway, yeah, please edit the stuff out. I've I've gone <laughs> off my I've gone too far. I, I didn't really sleep very well last night. Kaleidoscope. Sleep apnea issue. Uh, yeah, cut it out. Uh, go, Pat. I hope you win your pick, so I won't bet on the Giants anymore. No, you can bet on the Giants all you want. You just maybe. You yeah, don't take... and why do you have to lie? Why do you lie to him? Right? Yeah, on the you're, show? you're, you're you gonna bet on the Giants. You're gonna bet on the Giants. We know you are. I've lied to everybody. I said I'm probably not going to take Carolina this week, but you know I'm going to because I'm a fucking like I'm, I'm like a guy on meth. I can't fucking stop. I got an addiction. Give me a Cam H for Christ's sake. It's called Cam with H for help, help, help. Hey, Rob, can you believe that? It's actually Cam H. It's actually Cam H. Yes, I it really is. thought about that. Yeah, I know. I, 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 thought, I thought about it. But see, that's the thing. Because all of the hamsters are always on the fucking wheel. <laughs> the wheel of meth. Anyway, I've never done meth. But done a lot of other shit. But anyway, uh, yeah, good luck to your pick. I, I, I don't even want to bet against you now. Because we're a team. Remember that. <laughs> Rob, who's your <laughs> silver pick? You're not taking the Browns, are you? Browns! I'm not. But I am in on this cat theme this week, and I'm taking the Jags uh, yes. five and a half right yes. now. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's see. I'm, I might be lying. No, five and a half, bet MGM. Um, five and a half minus 110. It's there. Love Not it. that it's going to matter. Games never end on five anyways. But um, I love the Bills. I really do. I think people were way too down on them to start the year. But they are a heavy run offense. They're not stretching the field a whole lot. They don't really have... Um, in my opinion, a, a way to attack the weakness of Jacksonville secondary, which is because they don't really have the receiving core to do so. I still think they'll score, but on the other side of things is where I really have a concern because Buffalo lost Terrell Bernard. That's in addition to Matt Milano. The interior of that defense is weak. Uh, you consider the safeties that are starting as well and DeMar Hamlin, uh, Taylor Rapp, and I think Jacksonville can run the ball with Travis Etienne. I think they can attack the middle of the field against this defense. Of course, Trevor Lawrence, you know, I suffer watching this guy regularly as well. I was with you on the Browns last week, Pat. Watched a lot of the game. There, he suffers. He's over, let's just call out for what is. Steffi Graf has not lived up to the hype. He's overrated. Oh, 100%. And, overrated. Uh, but, but also, if you look back to last year, I don't know if this guy actually just throws like the worst ball ever. But last year, his receivers led the league in drops. So far, five drops this year as well, leading the league. I don't know what it is. At some point, I just feel like that that turns. Um, I don't know. It's it's too many points for me. Uh, I, I'm taking Jacksonville. And uh, I, I hate this kind of stuff because I don't like betting against Josh Allen. I think he's so, so good. But I, I just got to trust my number on the game. I agree with you, Rob. I think it's going to be a tight game. Bills will probably win the game, but between like three, three and four, I think that that's where their threshold is. So anything over that, I, Jacksonville's the play, in my opinion. That, that's that's called the old Feinberg. One team covers, the other team wins, and try to parlay them together. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh no, don't do that. No, I don't, <laughs> don't mind. Do. Let just let Jeff do his thing. He's, no, no, he's, he he's doing do quite his... fine in life. He's got the candle monies. He's got a wife, children. He's yep. loaded. He's doing great. <laughs> Cam, it is your time for a silver pick. We'll turn it around. If you hit this silver pick, all of a sudden you might be doing better in life than Jeff. It's never going to happen, but thanks, Pat. I appreciate the, the old Barry Horowitz there. Thanks. Nice. 
Uh, what do you guys think of the Niners? You like the Niners this week? I do. What do you think of the Niners? I like them a lot, but <laughs> I don't like taking favorites. But I'm just, I, that's what, that, you know what I like to do? Throw out all the games for all the people watching the show to know we have an opinion on every game. So they might want to put something together. That's why really? I do the dumb shit that, 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 that I do. That, that, that is why you're doing it? Not trying to see who Rob and I like first before you make a pick? That's partly true. I think if, another, if we another, ever did this, <laughs> if we ever did this as a live show and Cam could see the chat in real time, I think his brain might explode. <laughs> when pe some people agree with him and some people are against him, I don't know that he could possibly handle that. That's Hundreds of people I, at once. I let Morenci deal with the chat. I don't read one <laughs> fucking comment in the last 20 years. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to look at it. I want to see it. I got so many other problems. I don't give a fuck. I don't people, care. Say what you want. Say people, I'm an idiot. I don't, pe people I don't. love you, Cam. The, the, uh, everyone, I got it, a few people who want to kill me. Listen, like, yeah, there's always going to be people out there. But I would say of all the personalities on Mayo Media Network, you may have the highest approval rating. Wow, it, it's not even close. It's not cool. even... Cam, if you're ever down on yourself, go find any video you've been in on this channel and just go read the comments and you will imme immediately have your spirits lifted. Thank you, Rob. You, there is, you have a 100% approval rating on this channel based I, off of the comments. I, I, I have see. a lot of flaws as a person, but the one thing I am, I am just who I am. Like I, Rob, you know me from the day one where I tried to steal your fucking sub the first day I met you. I am who I am. <laughs> you sniffed it out, man. I've I never seen like, anyone do it. Who's got a cold cut trio? Uh, I, I'm like, I, mean, man, I, knew, I knew it. Like I I hate it. it. I, just like, I hate it. it. Under, Under a clothing. jacket. Yeah. yeah, it's just, wow. Got a good sniffer. Out of, trust me, man. I can smell my neighbor's barbecue. I always seem to stroll over. Hey, hey what's going on over there, pal? Give I him will, a beer. Next thing you know, I'm fed. I will never forget that because you found the sub, you held it up in the air, and you said, hey, everyone, free subs. <laughs> subs. <laughs> Said that's horrible. Like, I actually did that. What a fucking piece of shit I am. I actually stole it and said it was free. Man, hey, I'm everyone, free off. subs. Free subs. Like, <laughs> wow. like the guy from Subway came in with a bag of subs. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, Jared's <laughs> not allowed in workplaces anymore. Oh, dude, oh, that's done. Know he's done for. I've actually told people I have a really good vibe about certain people. And I told my girlfriend like a long time ago, there's something that doesn't sit well with me with Jared. And you saw what happened. I just got a good instinct for that stuff. I knew he was a creep. I mm. knew that fucker was fucked. Mm. Yeah. You were correct. That, that, was, that, that should have been your, that should have been your gold pick. When oh, we yeah, did like, Jared, uh, Jared, Jared is a pervert. That's yeah, a Jared is a pervert at yeah. 80 to 1. You would have cashed huge. Cam's yeah. watched enough cold case files I and have. American justice. He can sniff these guys out yep. from a mile away. Great well, call, Pizzola. Just when like I read the, when I, I, yeah. I also don't really dig in too much into the comments. Week one, I do, because it's good for interaction and building the algorithm. But after that, I really don't care. But I will dig into this show for next week. If anyone can leave the nicest thing you can say about Cam, I will reiterate them to Cam on next week's show, if Paul reminds me to do that. Oh, thank you. And nicest thing about you guys, too. How about everyone's friendly? The world's, the world's hard enough. I mean, as, I'll, as I'll sing your love. praises, Cam, if you make a silver pick. Okay, uh, I'm going to go off the board. Uh, God, I can't, I can't believe I'm taking another favorite here. Do I do this? Give me the Niners. Uh, I'm going to take San Francisco. I think the Rams suck. I have their under wins total. I think they're going to finish maybe last in that division. Like, I, is that crazy even saying that, Rob? Like, nope, it's I don't not. Think, There's I don't, they're not very injuries. deep. They're not yep. very deep. They're, and if McVay wasn't a good coach, they'd be in big trouble. Imagine they had like Sirianni as their coach. They'd be fucked. Yep. Like the Rams are not good. The Niners are coming off that loss, Pat. It's not my favorite game. I like a couple of the picks that you guys have, but I do want to make it different this time. So give me San Francisco minus seven and a half. I think they win this game. What do you think, Rob? 17 points? They might blow these guys out. There's a lot of scenarios where this is a big time blow. The, the yeah. Rams are dealing with severe injuries at this point. Like you're going to be down your top two receivers. You have an offensive line that's had issues. Secondary group that's had issues. I know San Fran has some injuries themselves. Obviously, Debo's not playing um, and Christian McCaffrey as well. But yeah, I mean, also on top of this, like the 49ers have pretty much owned the Rams recently, True. recent years. They've just been killing this team over and over. Stafford's banged up. I, I, it's really hard for me to make a case for the Rams at this number. Um, so yeah, I think I, I kind of like Miami, Rob and Pat. Hmm. And I kind of like, uh, well, you got a, you got a bronze pick to go still. I yeah, do, you... but I kind of, I, I want to have one is the same as Rob because me and Rob are reading, like, ever, it's weird, Rob. Like, I don't know. We always find ways to get to the same place and you do it through um, computer models and I just do it with vibes and I take a lot of dogs, but we're always on at least like a couple of the same games. So uh, well, we'll see. Rob, I, Rob, actually, I have one more, one more question, then I'll stop. How do you feel about Denver as a dog in Tampa Bay? I'm, I'm not betting. I, I'm, I'm neutral on that. I, I don't care. Yeah, same. Day. 
Same. I don't. I don't want to bet the Bucks to win by margin, and I don't want to bet on Bo Nix. Bo Nix. They see that. T- see, they made a huge play, and then he throws a pick in the end zone. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? That killed me last week. But uh, he, then again, Denver's not that good. He's but Bryce he's Young good. level bad right now. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying he can't turn it around. He he can, but he he is really really bad. Horrendous. He doesn't, he doesn't read coverage as well. You're right. No, like not at all. It's a problem. T- t- tough to watch. Tough to watch. Yeah. If the Rams couldn't do anything against the Cardinals defense last week. What are they going to do against the Niners down four offensive linemen? I know. I know. You can do, you just need like a McVay masterclass game planning performance. It's happened before. Don't get me wrong. He's done this before, but I'm with you. I just really struggle to see the Rams competing in this game. I might take like, like some stupid alts in this game. Yeah. San Fran minus 20 and a half type of stuff. Ha- um, just because I think it's possible. Yep. I want to ask you guys, I don't think this has ever happened in the history of our show since we've known each other. I've never taken three favorites before, but I'm going to do it this week. All right, then hit me with your bronze pick then. Who is it? I I want Tennessee. I I can't can't get off. I'm with Rob. Like, I've already had to defend myself on all my shows. People think I'm an idiot, like, for taking Tennessee. I like them at three, so how the hell do I not take them at one and a half? Yeah. I want Tennessee. Isn't it nice to come on this show where the three of us all agree that we like Tennessee? It's hard yeah. though sometimes, but I understand why people like they they look at my picks and think I'm insane. Like, oh yeah, Green Bay is so much better, but I just don't look at it that way. I look at the way Rob sees it. Tennessee should be two and zero if not yeah. for a couple freak plays, a ten, a big ten point swing against the Jets. Like the Jets ended up winning that fucking game by only seven points. Like, yeah. like Tennessee could like they they should have they killed Chicago in week one, and then and then they were all over the Jets. Like, what do you want, Green Bay with a backup quarterback who used to? I'm like, ooh, Malik Willis revenge. You don't think they fucking know who he is? Yeah, of course. <laughs> tendencies i think it's the other way like yeah. people are like, oh yeah he's a, you know he knows these guys no they know him and they know he's not good so give me tennessee rob three favorites for the first time ever weird they practice against this guy every day yep you don't think they know where he's going with the ball and Big how time. of course they do and they have a good secondary that's one thing the titans yes have. they have two number one corners oh, over there man. It's yeah lights anyway, out baby I, I i like for me as a better like a lot of people just react to the final scores of games. They're like, oh, this team sucks. You know, this is like, yeah. you got to kind of get in the weeds. And I'm with Cam, like Tennessee, it, if this is a two and O Tennessee team, this line is not one and a half. No, it's, it's on three, the other side of three. three. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm, yeah, I'm with you. Three, three, three and a half, right? Yeah. Probably three and a half, I would think. Yeah. Here's a quick question for you guys. Of all teams mm-hmm. in football so far, who do you think has faced 62 passing attempts and has pressured the quarterback 51 times while only blitzing 27% of the time? 62 pass attempts. 33 and- pressures on the quarterback, but have only blitzed 25 per- 27% Colts? of the time. No, it can't be Colts. No, Colts? Uh, I'm, just go- I'm going okay, through the okay. Steelers. It is the Cleveland Browns. In Browns. terms of pressure rate right now, there are Three teams, four teams, well above everyone else. It's Cleveland, Dallas, Chicago, and Houston. Yeah. Hmm. Chicago, yeah. By the way, Pat, I love your Houston pick, too. I I, I have a good feeling about this week, guys. We like each other's picks a lot. Like Denver, for example, is sixth in pressure rate. They're blitzing 43% of dropbacks. (laughs) So they're they're getting a good defense. Like, they played great in that game against the Steelers. Like, they gave that team, they gave that offense every opportunity. It was actually yep. hard to watch. I'm like, look how good. Singleton's a monster. I remember him from the CFL. Like, he's great. Like, I'm watching these guys going, what the fuck are you doing? Your defense is keeping you in this game. Like, every every defense is going to look better after the Steelers yeah. because the Steelers are going to run the ball and they're going to, they've very clearly told Fields, don't make a big mistake. Like, you make a big mistake when Russ is healthy, he's coming in. Yep. Because... They have the most flaccid offense, the Steelers. They don't even try to move the ball downfield. They're okay to just play the field position game, trust the defense. So I don't like to react to teams after they face the Steelers because it's always going to make the defense look better. Well, what do you guys like in that game this week? I, th- I find it very difficult. Well, I, I don't, but now, but now Herbert's dealing with this ankle injury. He didn't practice yeah. on Wednesday. I think that he's going to be fine. Like, I've liked the Chargers all week, but they've dropped from – Herbert doesn't practice, and they go from two to one and a half. It's like, okay, yeah. somewhat interesting. I, I just think these teams are really similar, except I think that the Chargers can actually move the ball offensively. Like, Fields hasn't had to do anything yet. I think the Chargers are going to make him try to do something. And we see when Fields has to do something, it doesn't really turn out that well. 
Yeah. Give me Herbert versus Fields in a game there where one of them has to win is what it comes down. I'm with you. Um, I'm worried about Herbert because he might be like limited mobility against a very ferocious front. But get the Chargers have very good tackles. Like that's one thing. I'm not saying that they're going to shut down TJ Watt, but the tackle play has been amongst the best in the league for them this year. They can at least match up on that. It's not like guys are going to be teeing off on Herbert the entire game. Um, Rashawn Slater, Joe Alt have been so good. So I, I like the Chargers in that game. So guys, just to preface, we have, Rob, you said we'd have to have a, a total cat theme, which is at least three. So right now we have Detroit by me. We have Jacksonville by you. So is Cincinnati going to make, is that part of the cat theme or no? Well, well, you've, or used Carolina? Your, you've made your three selections. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's down to I Rob because I'm not taking a cat with any of mine. So I'm between the Chargers and Rob. I went to the well with them in week one and it worked out. I went to the well with them in week two and it really didn't work out. I like the Cowboys against the Ravens getting a point. So do I. Mm. We are, wow. Godspeed. I, I, I don't think that Baltimore can block. Like their offensive line is atrocious. It is. It's awful. You're, this is my opinion on the Dallas Cowboys and how you handicap their games. Are they playing a bad team? <laughs> Bet them. Are they playing a good team? Fade them. Okay. If, if Baltimore if, if that, good. If that's the that, case. Yes. Then why aren't we just all betting the Saints as like two and a half point favorites against the Eagles? I like the Eagles this week. Why aren't we all betting? The, because we kind of lost the line value with the Saints, right? Yeah, but maybe like the but Saints, there's a chance that they should be favored by like six in this game. They're that good. There could be. And Philly I, you might make be an bad. argument. I'm gonna maybe. I'm gonna bet Saints alts and alternate lines in this game because I think there's a possibility we're still underrating the Saints, personally. Really? Um I think so. You don't think they're going to figure out Kubiak eventually? Like at I, some Rob, point, is Rob, Vic Fangio going to be the guy? Look at the, look at how I these know. teams move the ball on that defense right now. I understand that, but like a lot of smart people, and I'm not one of them. We like the Saints under this year. I can't. I, I'm 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 actually I, I, in sh- Carolina. You could see them fucking up with Bryce Young, but yeah. the fact that these guys are the best offense right now in the NFL, it's shocking to me. I thought they'd win like five games this year. I, like I, I can crazy. I can tell you someone who didn't think that the Saints were going to be terrible. Yeah, it's you, Pat, because I know I got the old spread Asian. Hey, I got plus one and a half with you. I'm fucked. <laughs> How's Carolina going to win? Asian line or not, I'm fucked. Like, I'm done. I, I and yeah. I, 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 the other part about the Saints minus two and a half as well is I don't think that the Philly offense is any good without A.J. Brown. Agreed. Yeah. That's another That's thing, a good too. Point. It's it, it, everything about Philly for the last, the latter half of last year and even to start this year just feels broken to me. I agree. They feel like a broken team. And I thought Fangio coming in, Kellen Moore coming in, maybe that'll turn around. Jalen Hurts is just like an average quarterback at this point. Like the book is out on this guy. He's going to roll out to his right every single time. He, he, he still makes stupid plays regularly. Um, I don't, yeah, like I'm, I got to like move off my prior on the Saints. I'm not, I'm not, I'm ready to say I was wrong. And maybe I was right before the wrong. season, but I, I like, they don't get like Cowboys couldn't get any pressure on them last week. You see, that's like Saints one of the line. I didn't know they were this good. They're, they're, they're not, they shouldn't be like the players aren't, but they are as a unit. So, um, I don't, yeah, I, I they're playing good football. They, they sometimes are. it's just a matter like, like we talk about machinery and spreadsheets and stuff, Rob, sometimes humans are humans and they just. They probably read all their press and said everyone thinks we fucking reek, and they're going out there and been the opposite. They're just they they're they they're they're, they're, they're they're I watched the Saints play. You said it, man. They're a fluid unit. Like some of their plays too, they're brilliant. Like they're just like executed so perfectly. I'm like, fuck, man. Like where was this the last couple of years? Like yeah. I just don't get it. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm, want, I'm with you. You want to hear an amazing number out of? Will Levis's dropbacks, how many times do you think he's... This FTN data site is great, by the way. 14.3% oh, yeah, so is the clean pocket rate for Will Levis so far through two weeks. Yeah, it was better last week. JC Latham in the first week of the season was horrendous. The O-line is not good. Don't get me wrong. But the Packers front seven is not exactly a strength either. I think like year after year, you can run the ball down Green Bay's throat and have success doing it. Um, Indy got into a game state last week where they were trailing and they had to throw. It didn't work out for them, but uh, it's 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 been a struggle to watch the Titans O-line. Well, the, sure. w- one thing that I am going to be targeting, at least until it stops working, is I there is 
Indy's defense is going to be on the field for at least 35 minutes every game, probably more because they can't stop the run. What did Mixon put up? 170 against them. Jacob puts up 160 yeah. against them. But they just can't tackle anyone. But can the Bears run the ball on anyone? I mean, if they just try, they can. all they have to do is just run the ball every time, their defense will score 14 points for them. And then did, Caleb Williams won't throw a pick and it'll be fine. Oh, I told man. people about Williams. I said, watch out for this guy. He's really inconsistent. It's early in his career, but he's going to make a lot of mistakes. Trust me. Yeah, but yeah. when you watch him make the mistakes, like you watch him versus Bryce Young, and mm -hmm. like I still see it with Caleb Williams, at least through two games, yep. like how he yep. could be good. You're like, oh, if he could just hit DJ Moore in stride and not the defender yeah. in stride, then we'd be good. Like he's rolling out. He's trying to stay in the pocket. When he gets flushed out, he can extend the play. He's just making terrible. He, his speed is not up. Like his game speed is not at an NFL level yet. And that's where all the well, interceptions are coming from. But he doesn't look overwhelmed. Yeah. No, it, it looks like a quarterback who thinks he's still playing in college football. Yes. That's what I see when I watch Caleb Williams. All the things that worked for him at USC, where he could just m make these play like against inferior athletes, they don't work at the NFL level. And he's finding that out. At some point, uh, as Blessing used to say, water finds, water its, finds level. its level. And at some point, I, I think he has enough talent there because you do see it. You see the way that he can evade some sacks and make a throw on the run, even though he makes bad decisions. I think that he'll figure it out, but right now he doesn't have it. He needs to he needs to realize he's playing in the NFL, not playing college football anymore. My I gotta get rid of this search history. I got Cam H, Jared Fogel, and Will Levis up in my tabs right now. That's yeah, not good that's news. Uh, that's you know what that is. That's you in the back of a cruiser, buddy. <laughs> Neighborhood creeper, male. <laughs> you don't get those vibes from me though. You, I, your your Fogel no, no, sense no, isn't no, going no. off, is it? Oh no, no, I, I no. don't get the vibes from you. I just think you're sharp. You and Bazola like. Bazola kind of has the look of like he can be one of those guys with a mysterious yeah. room in his house, but uh, he's still okay. Jared, I totally got creeper vibes from. Like the minute I saw him, I go, something's not right with this guy. Mm. Big time. Hide your children. After talking this through, I mm -hmm. think I'm going to go with my bronze pick with the Saints. Minus two and a half. Just believe wow. that they're good. And the Phillies not the only as good. game we disagree on. You guys both like the Saints. I kind of uh, like the Eagles. I, I, I think you could alt. The, I weirdly think you could alt this both ways. Like maybe just everyone's yes. in on the Saints now, and they come crashing down to earth, and Philly beats them by thirty. But even when Philly was went to the Super Bowl a few years ago, the Saints went in there and knocked them off. Like maybe it's just a bad matchup, like San Francisco yep. and Minnesota. Apparently, yep. This happens. Yeah. Like sometimes you you have to make a judgment call on certain. This happened many years ago. I want to say maybe it was the COVID year or something. I vividly remember a game between Buffalo and Pittsburgh where week one. there was like, was it, was it week, yeah, one? week one when the yes, Steelers beat them in week one? Like oh, then ten, I'm thinking a different year or something. It's a different year. I'm thinking of where it was. The Steelers were like bad and people kind of started to know that they were bad. And there was this advanced line on the game that shifted completely. It went from like Steelers minus three, look ahead line to bills minus three. And all these people started convincing themselves. Oh, like, there's value in the Steelers because of what the look ahead line was and the Bills smoked them. And I kind of feel like that here. I, I just, I, I don't know. Sometimes I just want to trust my gut. I'm not betting the Saints minus two and a half. I'm going to bet the Saints minus nine and a half in this game at a big price and just say like, hey, maybe, maybe they are this good and I'll get an alternate payout on it. That's the way I would want to play this game. I, I, I probably end up doing both with you right now because it's plus. I mean, if you, yeah, it's minus 120, two and a half right now as well for the Saints. So, yeah, maybe the alt line is the proper way that we can play this. Who are you taking as your bronze pick? You, Tennessee for Cam, New Orleans for me, Rob, it's to you. I say this as someone who really doesn't have a good bronze pick, but I do want to complete the theme. Carolina. I'm going to go the Carolina Panthers. Good for you. I'm going to take the Panthers. You know what? I'm I'm so glad because <clears throat> I don't want to be affiliated with those guys anymore. Yeah, they, I they, know it's tough. They know. They know. They, 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 I get it. I, I'm at a point right now where I'm like, if I don't bet the Panthers, I have money. Like, you know, they fuck me with teasers with every, like every fucking, like I'm looking at my ledger going, what the fuck are the Panthers done to me? Two yeah. weeks into the season. I wish They've they been outscored 73 to 13. 13. They are 16. a disaster, but Andy Dalton is better than Bryce Young. This yeah. offensive line is actually fine. It is literally okay outside of left tackle. I know the defense is a problem, but here, the Raiders win last week at Baltimore. 
What does Antonio Pierce say right after the game? We don't want to win like that. We need to get back to our roots. We need to run the ball. They can't run the ball right now. Their running game's not good. Hasn't worked in either week. They're, this, to me, is the game. Like, I might officially be done with Carolina if they get blown out. I, no, I not, not I might. I, I will am. be. But this is the game I'm convincing myself that they can hang around. Like, we were so low on the Raiders heading into the year. Even last week, as someone who bet them, I thought I didn't even think I was going to cover nine and a half for most of the game. There got to a point where Baltimore went up 23-13. I'm That's like, here scary. we go. We are cooked. And then all of a sudden the passing game started working. It's too many points for Las Vegas. Like they don't have an explosive offense at all. And Dalton upgrade can throw the ball. We know he's he's like, whatever. I'm not I'm not saying, yeah, yeah. Good. You know what he is. You know what he is. He's a guy that's going to give you some explosive he'll get, plays. I'll tell you, he'll take a beating and keep on going. Like, that's the whole thing about Dalton. And th- those guys will be happy that he will get licked and come back for more and make a play. And they're like, you know what, dude? Let's roll. Like, I- I'm with you. Like, I think players wanted Bryce Young to be good, but he doesn't give them a chance. I'm sorry, man. The guy's – like, there's a, there's a there's a problem with Bryce Young. I don't know if it's his eyes – what happened to him? He's not fucking the same the, guy the, anymore. There, there, oh, also, I, I can tell you what the problem with Bryce Young is. He's exactly the same size as me. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's a, it's a real problem. <laughs> it is. But he's got bad decision making on top he of does. it. Like he's, he's the, the bot, like watch the body language for Carolina. And, and you know, Adam Thielen's running wide open down I the know. sidelines, waving his hands and he can't yep. get, he doesn't even get a get look. ball. You exactly. can't, it's bad. And these guys turn around and they're like walking back to the line of scrimmage, hands on. The, Deontay Johnson has some of the best separation numbers in football. He's very good at getting open. They can't get him the ball. Like Dalton can do that. I got Dalton's him in fantasy, Rob. I was like, hey, what a steal. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to go to the waiver wire the way things are going. You know, thank God Dalton's here. Cam, yeah. I don't put you on a big fantasy football guy. I feel like you would hate fantasy football. Uh, I'm not. I, wow, that's a really, I, I don't even know how to, wow. Um, I, like I, it. I I know a whole bunch I like, of, I, like Rob the same way. Yeah. Like most people I know who like to bet and bet on football in like in particular just hate fantasy yeah. football. I don't mind it, but I don't take it like other people. It just this whole fantasy football thing, it's like it's very different than betting on games. And I'm in a league with my buddies who, I, who I've known for kids and it's fucking annoying, but it's good. Like last week I had like I fucking murdered my buddy and it felt good. But the thing is, I'm not really like I could I could live without it. I don't mind joining leagues. Like if you took betting away from me, I'd lose my mind. Like fantasy football to me is just something I do to go in leagues, and eh, I don't really like it the way other people do. I, I it's okay. Yeah, I, if you I, know what I mean. I, I, I think that when you get into betting, Rob, it ends up becoming like it's more of a social thing. Like keep track with like buddies that you've played with for like twenty years, whatever it mm-hmm. might be. But I'll have like one guy who's like texting me on a Sunday night, be like, yes. "Oh man, I'm gonna come back and get you." It's like I, I'm not concerned about our fifty dollar league right That's now. That's the whole thing. I'm concerned about pay- the lot of money I have on this game right. Great you can call, win. Pat. You you win. Yes. That's fine. <laughs> I, I'm in I, a league I, with camera two, Drew, and these fuckers give me like 36 what WhatsApp messages. I'm like, fuck off, man. It's, like, it's I, brutal. Like, I don't have time for this shit. Like, I'm I've busy. learned to despise fantasy yeah. football because like yes. I go to family gatherings and my brother's like, oh, yeah. you should have seen who yeah. I started this week. I'm like, I don't care. That's I don't No I one too. cares. Fuck off, Everyone I, wants to like showcase yes. their, you know, their great moves that they made. No one yeah. gives a shit except yeah. you. Ooh, you're no a one. GM. Yeah, it's like, uh, shut up, man. I got to lose all my money. I, I, I'm I'm betting a lot of money on NFL games. Like I could not be bothered to be in in a pool where, and I don't like to each their own, right? But like my friends are playing in a pool that's two hundred dollar entry. Like I'm not I'm not getting out of bed for two hundred to, to win two thousand dollars at the end of the I, year. Like Rob, I just hate the messages. It's like like that's what we should be doing when we have real money on games. I'm getting like I, I'm in leagues with fifty two fucking messages. I'm like fuck off. Like I don't care about what you're fucking yeah. doing in your team. Like I I. I it just, it drives me nuts. It like takes up my phone. I'm like, I had to block. You know what? I blocked people that I know because I couldn't deal with it anymore. Yeah. Like I'm fucking done. I don't blame you. But be- betting player props has completely taken yeah. the void that like was left behind when I stopped playing. I just started betting player props regularly. I get my fix of, of cheering and rooting for individual players. It's just through a different method. And by the way, if one guy, one of them gets injured, I'm not screwed for the rest of the season. Yeah. Like I just move on to another bet. 
If you Such feel, is life. If you feel that way as well, I highly suggest you go to Underdog, use code Mayo, get a deposit match of up to $1,000, and if it's before Thursday, a free pick for Thursday Night Football to go with the C.D. Lamb free pick. So Carolina plus five for Rob rounds out the nine picks. To recap, my gold is Houston minus one and a half. Silver, minus six and a half for the Cleveland Browns, and then I have New Orleans minus two and a half against the Eagles at home. Rob has Tennessee minus one and a half, Jacksonville minus five and a half, Carolina plus five. Cam Jacksonville as a, plus five and a half. Plus five and a half. For Carolina? Jackson, no, for, Jack, for Jacksonville. Jacksonville versus Buffalo. Plus five and a half. Correct? I said I said plus yes. five and a half. No, you no, didn't. No, you said no. minus. I caught guaranteed. it too. Yeah, I'll, I'll, guaranteed. I'll, 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 I want to make the Saints bet double, double or nothing. <laughs> Give me my money back. Asian line. All right. Jack, Jacksonville <laughs> minus five and a half, Carolina plus five. For Cam, yeah. Detroit minus three, San Francisco minus seven and a half, and Tennessee minus one and a half. I like that you're arguing with me about a like a half point in the thing that we're not really betting on here for the show. You know what I love, Pat? We're me and you are on six fucking like we're on favorites. You got three, I got three. This is fucking good. This could end poorly. Yeah, it, it, well. it worked out really well last week betting on the favorites, didn't it, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> That's usually the time to zag to the other side, but uh, uh, uh yeah, uh, listen, it's it's all right. It's every week could happen. And I what? like cat theme is the way I'm I'm thinking cat theme this week as well with cat. The religious theme was very strong last week with Saints and Cardinals, two and oh. So two games. That's Saints that. minus nine. <laughs> This week. So this is a strategy question for you, Rob. And what's the yep. better bet here? And you can yep. break up your bet any way you want. So you bet the minus nine for the Saints over the Eagles. The minus nine plays yep. pays plus 230. Now, you can go to winning margin, and you could take... 7 to 12 for plus 475, 13 to 18 for 7 to 1, 19 to 24 for 12 to 1 or hell, 25 to 30 for 22 to 1. Like what is it better to alt it that way or just pick a number and go with it? So I like to build like a story in my head and and build an SGP around it. So I, I like to take so if I'm doing Saints on an alternate line, mine let's say minus 9 and a half, something like that. Okay, what's the most likely scenario in that case? Well, Philly wouldn't be able to run the ball. So Saquon Barkley under on his rushing yards. Because now the Saints get up by that much, Philly's got to pass it that much more. Maybe an alternate Hurts yardage over, 250 plus. Uh, Maybe add a receiver to that um, that's tied in. Devontae Smith, 80 plus yards. That's kind of how I build it in my head. So I like to build kind of a story around that. Steven you, Spielberg goal. That's what exactly. you are, Rob. Little uh, little producer. screenplay. Little yeah. screenplay. <laughs> Just like how they script the games in Vegas, right? Uh, yes. So that Patrick Mahomes wins them all. Oh yeah, I'm so like honest to God, fuck. Like uh, it's it's out of control, man. It I was a DPI though. It, like, was, we so, no, no. It. it was pass yeah. interference, but the, they get away with so much shit on the offensive line. Like they start early. Like it's just I'm done. Like, this is fucking. You think we're stupid? We watch this shit every week. I've had enough. Like somebody's like enough of the Chiefs. Like enough. Can we stop this shit? NFL script writer, man. Yeah, Just you're right. Take it up with him. Yeah, Travis Kelsey's mom. She's fucking running the show in the commercial. Supposed to bang Jimmy Garoppolo. Remember? Oh, Jimmy well, Garoppolo. He's a lot of, lot of women do, I yeah, would well, say. Well, yeah, yeah. Good looking guy. Yeah. So even to build that out. So Devonta Smith over 70 yards. Yep. Saints by nine and a half is six to one already. Wow. Yeah. I, I like, you, like Bar- Barkley under. The winning margin, yeah. though, Pat, when you start getting over, that's a problem. Because say they win by 14 and you got like 7 to 12. It's like, fuck off. Like, I did all that. Like, I made a great play. Yeah, that's why like, I'm saying, like, is it better to yeah, ladder yeah. it that way because of the payout? Even for if yes. you had $100, let's say, to bet on the plus 235, would it be better to divvy up that $100 and try to play the ladder? The winning margin, Rob, I would say between 1 and 6 is the best. Like, it, the, with, well, that, that, would be, that, that would be bad yes. if we're betting minus 9.5. I understand that. I'm just saying yeah. for most games, like the one to six, you take both sides and you can get plus. Like the, that's my experience with winning margin. You guys do a lot more uh, Steven Spielberg, Spielbergo shit than me, like building storylines and shit. I just want to, you know, bet that. I find once it gets over a touchdown, it's hard to hit the hit the middle in those things sometimes. Yeah. I, I like to, uh, I often like to do this with underdogs uh, where I take the underdog on them. So I did this with Chicago uh, against Houston on Sunday night football. It lost. But I built out Chicago money line, and then I did C.J. Stroud, 250 plus yards, Nico Collins, 100 plus yards, and Joe Mixon under on his rushing yards because so it's my the same game parlay. That's what yeah, you're doing. it's SGP. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying okay, if Chicago's going to win this game, it's very likely going to be because Houston can't run the ball. They're going to try with Joe Mixon. It's not going to work. Chicago maybe builds up a lead, and then Houston has to start throwing the ball and. Uh, 
I got the other legs. I just didn't get Chicago winning the game because they absolutely stink. But those are the types of things that I like to do is um, just like is like a logic puzzle, I would say. Well, let's build a teaser. We're 0-1 with the teasers mm. on the year. We may have lost every leg of the teaser last week. Who knows? Mm. Even Is better. That, that was Did most really? definitely I, it was huh. pretty close. Should have played a pleaser on the other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What are those pleasers? <laughs> so Big payouts. What do we want to do here? We each get to nominate one game. Cam, would you like first choice of the game to pick? Since we didn't add it, let's just put Miami on a fucking teaser and get a 10 and a half and be done with it. How's that sound? Okay. Yep. Miami 10. Do you think half? Seattle? I don't think Seattle could blow at anybody, let alone Miami. I, I mean, think they might win the game. But I, I actually think a lot. Gino has looked secret good since I the, like Gino. Oh, Gino's looked amazing. Since, since the second half, like slick. the first half against Denver you. was bad. Since yeah. then, he's yeah. looked really good. Oh. oh, Gino's fine. People that think he's shit. They're wrong. Gino yep. Smith is fine. He throws. <laughs> see that ball to Metcalf in stride? That was fucking gorgeous. Dude, th- this OC is good. Um, oh, Grub. Brian Grubb. Yeah. yeah, I like the Grub he, man. He's good. Yep, Real gr- getting grubby with Gino. Yep, grubby. And yeah, grubs. Grubs. Gino and Grub. GG. Yeah, yeah. Grub. So Miami plus 10 and a half. Where am I going to go with this? I'm going to take the Chargers up to seven <sighs> and a half. Yeah. Okay. That's where I was going to go. That with was it. my second one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chargers is, is a Chargers is a great teaser. Good like, teaser with really good teaser. Yeah, like, uh, I'll, I'll take the Bengals down to half or yeah, one and a half perfect. or whatever. Sure. Yeah, Love one and a half. All right, so we get for the teaser, we have Miami 10 and a half plus the Chargers 7 and a half plus, and then Cincinnati minus one and a half as the six game, 6.3 game teaser. Rob, what does that pay? Uh, I don't know. Is it what, minus 120? Uh, probably, yeah. Uh, the standard, no, no, pretty... no, plus money. No, no, we're getting, we got a three banger. It's, oh, it's, no, it's three banger. Sorry, two bang. So, sorry, two banger is what I usually it's, it's play. Plus there. Yeah, it's plus, plus 140. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. My bad. My apologies. Two be- two would be minus one twenty. Yes. Rob's not waking up in the morning for two thousand bucks or plus one forty <laughs> teasers. Those are the only two things he doesn't want. Did I say that out you loud? Did. I said that out loud. Yeah. Well, it's true though. It's true. Yeah. It doesn't like it's you're not, like Bill Waters, just... Rob. He's like, I don't hit the alarm clock for no. But it's the amount of work you have to put in, like for a two thousand dollar <laughs> pot. It's not just like okay, two, yeah, obviously right. I would take two thousand dollars, but you have to put in so much work over the course of the you're year. Right. It's just not. It's not worth it. Yeah, you're right. That will do it. On the Pat Mayo Experience, I will be back with the Fantasy Football and NFL News Shorts, which I put up on Mayo Media Network. They're between 5 and 10 minutes every single morning, except Wednesdays because I release the rankings and full injury report as well. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'll have a preview of Thursday Night Football and all the injuries that you missed. If you just don't care and you don't want to listen to someone, I mean, you just listen to someone talk for 105 minutes when I'm saying this now, so maybe that's not for you. But it's quick hitting, Rob. Sometimes you need a quick hit. You can download the audio podcast, watch the quick video and get completely caught up there's no jokes in it which is really hard for me Ooh, that's tough that's not you i know but i i I feel like i'm trying to diversify a little bit like i used to be not necessarily a straight man but i used to host this show but i also used to host a studio show which had a little bit of personality but it was pretty much by the numbers i feel like for like my real like people have forgotten that i can actually host a real show too well, that's why I do this show, to be honest with you, because most of the other stuff I do, I'm very serious. But here I get to be myself and just joke around. So d- sh- diversification is yeah. important. I'm a jackass at every show I do. Right? <laughs> I'm a fucking moron. Grub. Hey, Pat, do you have any <laughs> underdog fantasy gear? I usually ask you for meat, but I can, I, I'm due for some new golf shirts. Why yeah, you, uh, fire you know that what? off in the mail. The, the, one that they, uh, the ones that they had at the Wyndham Championship were really nice. So maybe I'll see hmm. if they can express me some because we're going you're not coming to president neither one of you are coming to I'm, president's i'm now. trying pad but it's just i got a lot of things my dad fell again and uh he's Listen, gotta go it, back to rehab it, it's he's okay. having a, I, 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 I really want to go but i got so many fucking things like i i really need to get away too it's just i don't i'm not sure if it's going to work out but i'd love to go i hope you have a great time well we are our airbnb canceled on us after five months and oh. guess what rob it was relisted 10 minutes later for more money, which I booked again. Of course oh, it classic. was. What a classic shit. move. That's a, that's so, that's so shady It's scummy, but shit. what was it? What was I going to do? Yeah. Not book the place Nothing. that I was expecting to stay at? No, you just throw a Molotov cocktail in there while you're passing by when you're in town. No, I'm, I'm still staying yeah, there. But some loose oh, you're still staying there. there. I, I oh, was the one who the rebooked fun. it for the oh, more money. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I see. So you don't, yeah, you definitely don't want to burn it down at that point. Yeah, no. then, then we definitely don't have then anywhere to stay. You don't have anywhere to stay, what yeah. A, what a shithead move. So you're telling me you got the same place and you just jacked up the price? Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, wow. Whatever. What like, I'm just hoping they don't cancel it again. Like, I don't care. I mean, I yeah. do care about the extra money. I more care about the place I have to stay. Yeah, of course. Yeah, good point. 
So well, which they is, really fucked you. Fing, fingers <laughs> crossed it ends up working out. You can catch Rob over on the Forward Progress YouTube channel and at thehammer.bet. You got Feinberg joining you for Thursday Night Football Watch Along. He's usually there. We we put him on in the third quarters usually because that's when he gets like extra saucy. Uh, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, the Ryan Doctor Peppers and the fucking uh, and the and the, and the pen hits. Start yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. There he goes. So, yeah, you know Feinberg. Yeah, he's around though. Bobbling. He's definitely around. And uh, yeah, and he said, I, I got to bring up the fact that he's stealing my stuff now. He's stealing my mm. stuff and using it on this network yeah, without he, giving me attribution. Yeah. He heard about Eddie Walter. Daniel, he like, heard about Walter football, and he's like, can't deal with that guy anymore. I'll see. Yeah, stuff. Walter's done. Walter's been canceled. He's he's toast now. I forgot earlier <laughs> the show Cam got canceled. Yeah, it's true. I might not be able to associate with him. Sorry, Browns. (laughs) (laughs) Cam, you can catch up on Sports Grid, and I would highly recommend to tune into the Forward Progress channel. It's better than watching Al and Herb Street. Just you can listen to Pizzola and Jeff. It's much more entertaining for Thursday Night Football. Trust me on that front. For me, I'm Pat Mayo. What's up with the channel? We're trying to get to 50K subs. We're almost there. We need your help, and all the extra information is going to be in the newsletter. Okay, I'm Pat Mayo. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Experience. Experience.